feels tumultuous and uncertain as it so often does these days. Psalm 90 is a good scripture to read. That, that's the one that begins, um, Lord, you have been our dwelling place in many generations. Psalmist goes on, before there were mountains, before there was even life itself, there was God from everlasting to everlasting. It's a good thing to remember, right? Before there was a pandemic, before there was an election, before there was you, before there was me, before there was the Westminster Presbyterian Church, before any of those things existed, and long after all of that is gone, there will be God from everlasting to everlasting. But the part of Psalm 90 that has always drawn me, it, it, it's the part that actually I even have uh, framed in a piece of uh, a silkscreen that's here in my house, uh, is the very last verse of the psalm. And uh, here in my house, it's from uh, the King James Version. Let the favor of the Lord be upon us and establish thou the work of our hands upon us. Yea, the work of our hands, establish thou it. Establish thou it. It's a repeated verse. It's um, lovely that way. It adds a poetic touch to the psalm, kind of like Robert Frost's uh, famous poem that ends and miles to go before I sleep and miles to go before I sleep. The repetition of that phrase seems to emphasize it. It makes it more haunting. It puts it in bold face. Establish thou the work of our hands. Yea, establish thou it. Establish the work of our hands. I get it. I get why the psalmist would want to underline and boldface that particular uh, passage, those words, because those are prayers that I want to underline and boldface as well. I don't want my work to just float away, get washed away with the uh, sands of time. I want it to be established. I want it to be planted. I want it to stick in some way, I want it to have significance. But how can our little lives be significant when God is eternal from everlasting to everlasting? How do we, little bitty us, connect and matter to the awesome God who we worship every Sunday? It seems to be a good question to examine this week, especially since it's uh, the Sunday that we're going to dedicate our uh, pledges, our offerings, our tithes to God and pray over those offerings and ask God to establish the work of our hands. Yes, establish the work of our hands. I hope you'll be able to join us on Sunday. And if you haven't done so already, I hope you'll take a moment to go to our website, to the Give page, and make a pledge for 2021 to support the Westminster Presbyterian Church in the coming year. Thank you. See you soon.